every day for the working people in Wisconsin. In yes. We want a fast and a peaceful resolution to the attack on working people that's playing itself out in Wisconsin. It is time for us to say enough. Everyone should say enough. And we are all for our working families, and I will do everything I can to protect you every single day. Come from a Teamster background, and United Mine Workers, and Mother Jones would be very proud of every single person here today. I'm Representative Joe Fitzgibbon. I'm here from Burien today. And, um, to Olympia, to Washington, D.C., there are people out there, there are people in there, who think that public work is not worth as much as private work. And we are here to say, hell no! We are here to say that whether you are a teacher, or a home care worker, or a Medicaid interpreter, a ferry worker, a, co a correctional officer, we thank you and we are going to fight for you. I want to give a special thank you to our brothers and sisters today with the Washington State Patrol who have uh, kept this event safe, uh, kept the other protest uh, safe today, and have, and have estimated this crowd at 2,500 people. Now, Kirby Wilbur said that they were going to have thousands of people out on the steps seeking to take away your rights. Looked like about 200. Yeah. But, but it's not enough for us to feel better than them. It's not enough for us to look to the state of Wisconsin and feel advantage. We have to fight for this state. I never thought it would happen in Wisconsin. A progressive state about as big as we are, eight members of the United States House. You had Russ Feingold from that state. You had a Democratic governor, a Democratic assembly, a Democratic Senate, and it was all lost. And we can't let that happen here. We need progressive voices in that place. Yeah. Now the special interests think they own that place. They only rent it. You own it. Yeah. You can take it back. Yeah. You can evict the special interests. Yeah. It's your house. Yeah. Talk to your unions. Talk to the progressive majority. Talk to those out there recruiting candidates. We need progressive voices there. Yeah. It's not enough for people to say they stand for progressive values. It's not enough for them to say they regret cuts. We need people actually fighting the cuts. Yeah. We need people to make the case for revenue. Yeah. We need all of you to show up on March 17th at noon on the steps to fight for revenue. <laughs> Otherwise, our future is gonna look a hell of a lot like Wisconsin's. So thank you, all of you, for being here today. Let's keep the energy going and go in there and visit your legislators.